If you have a HubSpot Pro or Enterprise subscription for any HubSpot hub, you have probably seen that you can add association labels. Now, what are these association labels? Basically, you have specific objects within your HubSpot portal, such as companies, deals, and contacts. These records can actually associate themselves or establish a specific relationship, and these relationships are called association labels. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add that association label, for example, in a company to contact association label, customize it, add it to a specific contact, and also filter this out via a specific active list. Check this out. So what I want to accomplish here is actually be able to see, uh, or with an association label, be able to tag my contacts uh, that are within a certain company with a specific hierarchy, right? So in this case, I wanna go uh, and see uh, a company, right? So I'll go to companies, and in here I do have one called uh, Prince Bryant. So I'll go to Prince Bryant, and in this case I have a contact called Diana Prince with a association label called main contact. So th that's great, but I actually need to add one more content, one more contact that is part of this uh, specific uh, company, which is Kobe Bryant right here. So I'll just hit next and I will add Kobe Bryant there. As you can see, Kobe Bryant does not have that main contact uh, association label. However, I do want to build an association label for Kobe Bryant that maybe says uh, uh, billing contact, right? So, so I do want to add that. I want to add that in, but I'll show you how to do that next. So in this case, we see that there's no association association label. So in this particular case, I want to hit more and hit edit association labels. And in this case, I go to search. And since there's only one, I actually want to create one. So I'll just hit manage association labels. That is one way to get here. However, the other way, in case you don't want to actually go into a contact, you would go back to, to your portal, just your portal right here. Uh, you go to the gear icon at the top and you would go all the way down to the object that you actually want to create an association label for, so for example, companies, and then I go to associations, and in here, that we're in the exact same place, right? So now I do want to come back to just the uh, uh, association label that I want to build for Kobe in this case, and I actually want to create an association label called billing contact. So in this case, I want to create one called billing contact. Perfect. And in this case, I'll just hit create. Uh, and that'll be it for that association label. Now, how do I add it back in uh, to the company? Right? So let's go back to the company record. So I'll go to companies. I'll look for Prince, Prince Bryant. And then in here, we already have Kobe Bryant and Diana Prince in here. So I just want to actually hit more on the right side right here edit association label for Kobe and hit billing contact. And then I will just update it there. Now, great, we actually have an associate, association label added to Kobe, an association label added to Diana. But what I want to do next is just see how I can actually uh, filter by the billing contact of this company or any company within my portal uh, within the list section of our HubSpot portal. So I'm going to go to contacts and lists. And then in here, what I'm going to do is create a list. And actually, what I want to do is just uh, read and name this list as association label equals building contact. This could serve me well uh, because I just want to send uh, maybe an email or an update to anybody within the billing team. So that'll be great. And then I will add a filter here. We currently only have one. Uh, one contact which would be Kobe in this case uh, with that particular association label but the way I would do I would go about it is go uh, right here since this is a contact list I will filter by the associated object which is actually company so in here I'm going to go to company properties and I'm just going to put company name is known so that'll be basically a very broad one but what this will do uh, in this case right now we still have to filter one more thing so you will see there's a preview of three contacts whose uh, company name is known but now I actually want to hit this any company filter and in the any company section I want to put with label billing contact and that'll probably do it 
because uh, we only have Kobe, so we should only be seeing Kobe, and there we go. Kobe is actually in here, and actually this list, I can just uh, label it as either billing contacts or association label equals billing contact, but basically this list will give me the exact amount uh, and uh, records of the people who are the billing contacts for the companies that I have, and that is how we would use the association labels. And there we have Kobe. And that's all it takes. Now you have seen how you can create an active list based off of a specific uh, association label filter and more easily identify the contacts who are, in this case, uh, as we saw, a uh, billing contact for a specific company within your HubSpot portal. Remember, education is great, but the execution is where it's at. So go out there and be the Hub Hero that your organization needs today.